MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Jeff, this is the Supreme machine. It's recently been upgraded, I believe. It has. We've uh, increased the uh, control capabilities. It's now a colour screen, touch screen control, uh, onboard memory. So now you have the option of saving programs on the machine. Previous model required a download to a PC. Now it's a, it's a cylindrical grinder, an external grinder, correct? This is actually an external grinder and an internal grinder. This particular model has left wheel, right wheel and also an internal. But we do have options for plain external wheels only. So could I do external grinding and internal grinding in the same operation? So maybe do an outside diameter then an inside? You could, purchasing the encoder that's required on the B axis of the machine, that will then allow you to program external diameters, rotate the head manually, and then carry on with an internal grind. I mean, modular is probably a bad word to use, but if I wanted to have just one external grinding wheel and two internal, is that possible? Uh, not on this particular model. For that, we would be looking at our ultra grind range. Now, would this be one of your most popular selling machines? It is one of the popular selling machines because of the price and structure. So we're aiming it at the entry level, guys in the small tooling shops around, around the world. And it is sold all around the world. And what can they achieve with it once uh, in operation? Um, the main advantage of it, again, it's linking cycles together. So performing as we are here, four or five operations, open the door, completed part comes out of it. High accuracy, better than half a micron. That's, what I, that's where I was going really, yeah. so the accuracy le less than half a micron. Yeah, if you're between centres, obviously with good centres and uh, everything is, is right, the process is right, then yes, you get down to those sort of things. Here we're actually probing the part, so we're probing the part to gain a position in order to start the, the external uh, exactly. OD exactly. grinding. The centre depths vary on component to component, so the probe allows us to measure the difference from one part to the next and that software then adjusts the uh, positions accordingly. Now what is the largest part, heaviest part you could have on this model? Um, between centres 100 kilos. Um, in a chuck you'd be talking somewhere around about 50 kilos with the uh, work holding as well. And would you, how, how long does it take to dress a wheel, to change a wheel? Uh, these are, uh, the maximum wheel on this machine is 50 millimetres wide. Again, depending on what you're doing, somewhere in the region 30, 40 seconds. It's, uh, it just depends what you're doing, really. One of the things that, that really sort of shouts at me here at Jones & Shipman is, is the fact you're manufacturing, assembling these machines here. Would you say that's a big salient feature for you? I think it is. Uh, the, the biggest thing we're dealing with customers, certainly in the UK, is our location and the fact that we have machines here, spares readily available, applications engineers here as well. Well, let's talk about the build. What goes into these? Um, a lot of time and effort, obviously. There's, uh, again, hand scraping, uh, the work heads, wheel heads are all assembled here, and the spindles, nitrile oil spindles, so high quality goods, high quality items, a lot of experience from the workforce here. And do they have linear scales on them to achieve the accuracies? Not in, in its basis level. Again, you take it up from the entry level machine, you can add an X axis scale, a Z axis scale, uh, B axis. Um, encoders etc so you can build it from the ground up and it wouldn't matter what you were trying to grind from a material perspective you would just alter the wheel or alter the programming speeds to accommodate uh, yeah that's exactly we work quite closely with wheel companies with the exotic materials uh, we refer to those uh, companies in order to get the right wheel for the process. And then the control, let's come on to this. So let's move, let, let's have a, uh, a look at this. This is, this is new then. Touchscreen control, uh, we can link 20 cycles together. Uh, colour graphics, as we say, at the moment we're on, uh, as you can see there, we have cycle two in operation. Um, Touchscreen, menu driven, so when we go in, 
we pick the cycle that we want to look at and simply go through picking our selections inputting the data and, and is this developed by Jones and Shipman? The software is ours yeah, it's a FANUC uh, control but it's our software written here and we use this on both cylindrical and surface grinding machines. So there's no need for an operator to do anything from, from programming offline, he can do it all here at the machine? On this particular machine, yes, everything is done on the machine. Brilliant, great insight, thanks Jeff. Pleasure.